Welcome to Reality Creative Video. This week, and well, actually I started it last week. I started cooking up a batch of colloidal copper. Um, my colloidal copper, as if you've been watching my shows, I'm having a lot of trouble with stabilizing my colloidal copper. I cooked a whole bunch of copper a while ago. And this, this copper has sort of um, destabilized. Uh, there's this thing called aggregation, and what happens is the colloidals continue to combine afterwards uh, until they're done with their combine their combining process. Uh, most of the colloidals will aggregate within a day or two. Um, copper seems to continue to ag continually aggregate, and I haven't figured out how to freeze copper from aggregating. So like this batch, which started out, was really nice, a nice healthy color green, um, has now aggregated to this light color green. Um, it still has stuff going on under the video microscope, but it's lo lost a lot of its, what I consider, uh, qual properties where you have a lot of large particles, medium particles, and small particles. So it's kind of aggregating to mostly large particles and not so much small particles anymore. So last week I cooked up different processes. Um, call this copper citric, uh, sodium citrate. They use sodium citrate to cook this up. Now this is a looks like brown copper, which is kind of pretty much amazing to me because this was green copper when it was done. Um, now several days later, it's been been let's see, I cooked this on Thursday or Friday, and now it's Tuesday, so five or six days. This is sat and it's turned into brown copper. I also cooked up. This is my premier latest formula, copper. Sodium citrate with NACL. I cooked this up. And this has pretty much stayed. This this is stable for the most part. This has pretty much stayed stable. Um, it's the most stable process I have. The problem I, I with this process is there's not there's, there's a lot of small particles. And there's not too many and a small amount of medium particles and almost no large particles. And I really like to get a solution with large, medium, and small particles in there. And while this solution is absolutely stable, it does not, it hits fully aggregated, it's not going to aggregate anymore. Um, it doesn't have the large particles I need. So go back to the basics, all right? And the basics is using sodium, uh, using citric acid. Okay, that's the very basic uh, copper that everybody uses on the internet. It produces what I call copper cyan. It's the only process I have that produces copper cyan. These other processes just produce either brown, obviously, or green. Um, right now, to get copper cyan is to use citric acid. And then since I didn't have the microscope back then, I said, let me cook up uh, some citric acid copper blue, two, copper two, cyan. And that's what I'm doing today. And have a look in the microscope just to see what it looks like and compare it to these other things. Now, the other problem with this, this kind of copper is the taste is awful in it. Uh, you can really only do small amounts of it. And I've been using the cop, copper in my nasal spray. And believe you me, you want the taste of the copper to be as minimal as possible in the nasal spray because oh man otherwise you're tasting copper for a half hour but is it's a lot better than tasting uh sinus problems believe me um this is my current mic nasal spray mix it's a peach color uh solution it's got gold it's got zinc in it silver uh silver yellow actually um, and copper, a lot, most of it is copper. 50% of this is copper. Um, 
it's the new process copper, the SCNACL, which is very stable copper that I'm using in the nasal spray. And it's very promising. It's the best nasal spray that copper nasal spray I've made so far. Um, but I would love to get the larger molecules in here. It's the, the copper molecules. Anyway, we're cooking up citric acid here of, of co copper, citric acid copper. And what I'm doing here, because this process is horrible, okay? It wastes a tremendous amount. The citric acid copper cooking wastes a tremendous amount of copper. You can't use the scale to weigh the rods because there's so much wasted copper that doesn't go into the solution that weighing it is practically impossible. So uh, luckily I have the video microscope and I know what a 20 parts per million or 15 parts per million solution looks like. And so um, this has been cooking for, let's slide this over. I don't know if you can see the camera. Seven, it's been cooking for 73 minutes. It's a slow process as I mentioned before. And it's just now getting that cyan blue. Now I took a sample before, threw it in the video microscope, and it was only at um, oh, probably about seven or eight parts per million. That was that was at an hour, I guess, uh, almost an hour. It was about forty-five minutes. So now we got about another now at. Really need to do better with the cat with this. That 99 minutes on this copper cyan, and it is actually doing pretty good. I have siphoned off um, some stuff, and I have it in the video microscope. And I have to say, we're probably very close to 15 parts per million solution at this point. And I'll show you the video. I've taped it uh, so you can see it. Um, maybe I'm going to cook it for a little bit longer just to see what it maybe take the 18 parts per million, but, uh, it's pretty much, um, there as far as, uh, solution. It's got the, I like it because it's got the big particles, the little particles. It does, it has big particles and medium particles, but it's definitely lacking in some of the smaller particles. I'm hoping if I mix, when I mix these things, okay. I'm hoping when I mix the citrate that I'm cooking here with maybe some of the copper SCNACL, I can get that uh, stability that I want and all three of the processes together. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. And I will, you know, um, we cooked, well, we cooked colloidal copper using, uh, citric acid and this is gave us gave me the nice light blue cooked it to 15 to 18 parts per million is what i'm calling this solution as looked at from the video microscope um if you i went to measure you know if you went by the thickness of the weight of the rods <laughs> uh, as you know i've the waste on this stuff is like unbelievable but uh with this used in order to cook 15 parts per million of this stuff, which took roughly uh, 130 minutes, um, use 0 0.053 grams of material. Now that's r roughly uh, like 160 parts per million solution. And the video microscope confirms this no more than uh, an 18 parts per million solution. Where did the rest go? When with into debris that forms on the anode turns all black and because the copper doesn't go into the solution it gets attached to the anode and it just sits there and until you clean you know until you clean it you take the rod out and you clean it and you I put it through a a um, filter to get rid of that black stuff um I don't know. There's a whole bunch of black stuff in there. I'll, I'll take a picture of it so you can see the little black flakes in there left over from the from this process, which I I don't I don't like this process. It, it wastes too much stuff. Um, but the purpose of this is to create a balanced solution because, as I said, my my sodium citrate NaCl solution is extremely stable. 
but lacks the large and medium sized particles. Has some medium particles in it. So this created lots of large particles and lots of medium particles and very little small particles. So I'm in the process of cleaning up so all the beakers and stuff are uh, over to the side. This is the end result, which is while I combined all three of those coppers that I made that I showed you. Um, that's a picture of it in the video microscope right now and I'm going to put the actual video up there for you to see. It's a light green color as you can see in this jar. I'm going to call it copper SC SCNACL dash CA. Eh, it sounds complicated but it's the ingredients that made it up. Uh, it took three separate processes to do it but it's given me what I I feel intuitively is the best for any of my colloidals. I have large particles in it, I have medium particles in it, and I have small particles in it. Um, there was no way to cook up the copper in one batch to get all three of those together. Uh, either, either I had the small particles or the medium particles or the large particles. So mixing all three seems to have done it. I'm going to work with this um, over the next few weeks. And see how it goes. I'm going until next time. I'm Hermes. This is Reality Creative Video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my little shows. Um, please subscribe. And um, I will talk to you again soon.